Thank you for joining us today on Radio Free New Hampshire for our continuing series on the Mossberg Maverick 88. Today we're going to cover high capacity magazine and barrel installation. This is the same technique you would use on a Mossberg 500. Our kit comes from Brownells, all parts made by Mossberg. The first piece in our kit today is the magazine tube. It's listed as an 8 shot, but it actually holds 7 shells. The next piece is the extended spring. You'll need this longer spring to ensure that the shells feed smoothly into the chamber. The final piece in the kit is the 20 inch barrel. This barrel only fits the 8 round magazine. The takedown lug and screw would not line up with the original 6 round magazine. As I've mentioned before, I'm not a gunsmith nor do I have any specialized training. If I can do it, you can do it. Before proceeding, inspect the firearm to make sure it is unloaded. The first step in our installation today is to take the Mossberg all the way down to the receiver and magazine tube. The original magazine is secured with Loctite or a similar compound. We're going to have to apply heat in order to loosen that Loctite. The receiver is made of aluminum. The magazine tube is made of steel. Both of these can withstand heat, but we're going to remove all of the internal pieces to ensure that we don't damage any other parts. If you've followed the series thus far, you'll know that this Mossberg has a custom rail and stock. Your takedown may be different than this one, but the internal components are likely to be the same. If you're not sure how to break down your Maverick, check out our video on takedown and reassembly. I'm using a simple butane torch in order to heat up the components and destroy the Loctite. If you don't have a torch available, you should be able to accomplish the same thing over an open burner. Even with the Loctite loosened, it takes two hands to remove the magazine tube from the receiver. In lieu of a vise or another set of hands, I made a simple jig out of 2x4s to hold the receiver while I loosen the magazine. If you use a vise, be sure to pad the jaws so you don't scratch or otherwise damage the receiver. Once the tube is loosened, I let the assembly cool before removing it completely. Please wear eye protection and use caution. There's a lot of energy in that spring. The kit from Brownells does not include a new magazine follower. We're going to reuse the one from the original magazine. Before reassembling, be sure to clean off the Loctite compound from the threads. If you find the tube difficult to reinstall, it may be that the follower has become lodged between it and the receiver. Loosen the tube slightly and push the follower back inside it through the receiver. Be sure to tighten it securely, but don't use any tools as you're likely to damage the magazine tube. Now it's time to reassemble your Maverick. Once again, if you're not sure how to do so, please check out our video on takedown and reassembly. Make sure that the bolt assembly is to the rear before installing the new barrel. The takedown screw only needs to be finger tight. Don't use any tools here either. Now that your installation is complete, it's time to check the function by cycling the action a couple times. Use safety training rounds to make sure that the new magazine is functioning properly. And remember, even though it's called an 8 round magazine, it actually only holds 7 shells. Total capacity for the firearm is 8 rounds, 7 in the magazine and 1 in the chamber. Here I'm cycling the action with the training rounds to ensure proper function. And that completes our video on the installation of the high capacity magazine and barrel kit. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. Thank you again for joining us today on Radio Free New Hampshire. Please check back for our continuing series on the Mossberg Maverick 88 and additional firearms.